Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Business Every Day. It is another exciting day in the shop because we got a new stock material in and we're gonna make something. We have ha, carbon fiber. Oh, I'm so excited. So this is a 300 millimeter by 200 millimeter by three millimeter plate of carbon fiber that I picked up online the other day. And I've been so thrilled and excited to be able to work with it because I mean, it's carbon fiber. That's just awesome. But also it's supposed to be a very tricky material. And so there's gonna be a lot of refinement needed for the cut settings, for feed rate, plunge rate, all that. I don't even know what bit I'm gonna use, so I got some new bits. I had an idea for this project a few weeks ago, and so I started modeling, and I came up with a few different models, and we're gonna be working on a bottle opener. So let's get over to the CNC and get carbon. So to work with the carbon fiber, I went ahead and picked up two different end mill bit sets. The one over to my left is a titanium coated tungsten steel end mill uh, bits. And the blue coat is just called nano blue coat end mills. And these are supposed to apparently work with carbon fiber really, really well. And so, yeah, we got these really cool jagged edge end mill bits. And then we got the titanium tungsten end mill bits. I'm gonna try them both on this material and see how it goes. So here are the designs that I came up with. The first one is just a normal, regular bottle opener style. The second one is more of a credit card style uh, with a little lanyard loop. The third, this would be more of like a bar style, um, a bar style leverage bottle opener. And then I came up with one more, which I'm super excited about, which is a shark bottle opener. Um, all these designs I saw on Google through different searching and then I built them all in my easel software and we're gonna try and mill them out. Well, I just loaded the 1 16th in mill blue coat bit into the CNC. Now we need to zero this thing and see if it cuts. All right, the X and Y is set. Now we need to just do it. Before we actually make this cut, something that I did some research on and I'm very aware of is that the carbon fiber particles, because it's not only fibrous, it's also the epoxy resin that's infused with the fibers um, can be a very potent aerial mix and so I will be putting on a respirator and then using the vacuum system to hopefully cut down on aerial particulates and be safe about this whole process so let me get all that stuff put on and get ready and then we'll go in for the cut I mean, as a first attempt, I'm not mad. Uh, the bit did amazing, um, at least I think it did. Now, if you can see, we just barely poked through, so I need to add just maybe a thou or so. Um, I'm gonna speed it up real fast and see if we can actually punch all the way through this thing. 
and I don't have any tabs on it because I don't even sure how to sand this thing or get a tab off. But yeah, I'm gonna add a thou and uh, go through it real fast and see if we can actually get this thing to release from the actual plate itself. So let's get to that. Oh, look at that. So we are so close. Um, the right side here is not quite as deep as the left side here. And I don't know if that's the pressure that I have on the carbon fiber itself, but it is so close. So I think I gotta add another half a thou and run it again. Ah! <laughs> There's the hole, and there's the piece of carbon fiber. Wow. Yeah, so what I did was I touched up the edges with a 2000 grit sandpaper, and you can see all the layers. Look at that. I touched up the inside as well, so I don't feel anything sharp or um, prickly. Yes, yeah, so the back side snagged just a little bit. But other than that, this thing is beautiful. So this piece is super small, but it is super strong. Um, I decided to go with a three millimeter because that is the kind of the thickness that other bottle openers that I saw of carbon fiber. Um, and I might have only needed two millimeters, but you know, uh, I wanted to give it a shot first. So one of the modifications that I might end up doing is sanding down this little tooth right here so that I can get a better purchase on a bottle. But I am not sure yet. We'll see how this goes. Second piece. There's the first one. And there is the second one. Much cleaner than the first. And yeah, I mean, it feels robust. Again, I'm not sure if I will need to grind in a little tooth to grab the bottle. Uh, I'll have to grab some bottles because. I don't have any at my house. Um, I'm going to have to grab one and actually try this out. Let's go for our third and final cut for this test with carbon fiber. And we're going to do something a little bit fun. I'm going to make a uh, shark style bottle opener. I saw something like this online made out of aluminum. And so I traced out the design and we're going to make it out of carbon fiber. <laughs> The vacuum caught it. Mr. Shark. Wow. That's awesome. So there is a lot of dust on this. So what I found is because it's resin and uh, it clumps, it doesn't like fly off. And so it's very hard to tell how deep your cut is. First attempt. Second attempt. Third attempt. Oh, I'm stoked. <laughs> Here are my settings. 15 inch feed rate, plunge rate 6, depth per pass 5 hundredths of an inch with an offset pattern, the roundabout, and then I found that the 20% plunge angle gave me the best result. Well guys, I am super excited about what we created and... I don't know, maybe this is a new frontier of a, a material that I can work with regularly. Um, it is an expensive material to work with regularly. I think that plate, uh, that 200 mil by 300 millimeters, I think it cost me like 15 or 16 dollars. And so 
uh, if you're going to work with this material and test with it, uh, just be prepared that you are going to be spending a lot more money than MDF or something like that. So, uh, it was a wonderful experience. I need to get some bottles and test out these bottle openers, all the different shapes and sizes, and see how it goes. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode. I hope you learned something. I know I certainly did. And yeah, keep cutting, keep carving, mess up, repeat, do it again, get better at it, and hopefully I'll catch you guys next time.